Welcome back to Ozarks Live. You know, each month we're highlighting an artist to learn more about their craft and their achievements. So say hello to this month's artist, Joe Molesky. Joe, how are you? I'm fine. I'm nice thrilled to, see to be you. here. I thrilled saw you at the, uh, the latest installation a couple of days ago. Yeah. We had the artist on yesterday with the phone booth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun to watch for sure. All right. Uh, now, he got started crafting some of his art. When did you start doing this? Um, nine years ago, probably. Just uh, nine years just ago? Just nine years ago, I was thinking about taking up uh, watercoloring, mm -hmm. and I told a guy at work just before I retired I was going to do that, and he started showing me how to draw things and how to, how to identify what you want to build. He was almost an art teacher himself. Wow. And he encouraged me into it. And anyway, long story short, I quit painting and stuck with what I know how to do, and that's weld. I, I well, okay. Use of that. your talent. Yes, yeah. Use my talent. Sure, sure. Yeah. But it, what amazes me, and and you know, people look at this and they say, "Oh, it's just some metal, and you got some rocks and stuff." So. Yeah. But if you really look at this, could I put rocks on metal? Sure, I could. Is it a work of art? No. No. <laughs> this has to be something you love. It comes it's, from inside. Yeah, it does. Um, and there's a challenge to it. There's a balance to it that mm -hmm. I try to incorporate in it, and uh, that's just what it is. I just I cannot throw anything away. Yeah, is and, is the fish uh, uh, is that special to you? Yeah, the I fish, notice. Yeah, the fish is what I started making, okay. and I joined Fresh Gallery, and the fish were selling so well. I just kept kept making them. And you've got the one, the fish on the bike. We're going to see that a minute in, in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah. So these, you said, like for example. This is like a crescent moon, but these bolts down here came from your wife's grandfather's farm, farm from the nineteen yeah from the nineteen forties. Yeah. He probably gathered them up. So when he passed away, we cleaned mm -hmm. out. I ended up with a bunch of stuff, what to do with them, and finally one day I just clustered them all up, and I thought that's perfect tribute to use it as a base for it is a it perfect base. tribute. Yeah, this piece, particular piece, has nothing but chunks of rebar that mm -hmm. were rebar, left yeah. over. You can still see concrete on it from where they came out of the bridge at 65 and uh, really? and Battlefield Road when they tore that bridge out. And yeah, out the diverging diamond. Um, somebody cabbaged onto a lot of the rebar. So, like you said, you, you don't want to throw anything well, away. Throw you make away. art out of it. I, yeah, it gets it's got to get a lot shorter than that. Yes. To want to throw to it wanna, away. To want to get rid of it. it. Yeah. But but it's amazing the, the materials that you use because a lot of this sort of stuff is all around us. Mm -hmm. It's putting together in this form that yeah. makes the difference. Yeah. And I love how mm. some of your metal is more rustic looking. Some of it's very polished. And really pretty, so it's just it gives it a completely different artistic look. I want to show you some photos of some of the work that you have probably seen that you didn't realize that he did it around town. There's the fish on the <clears throat> bicycle. There's the fish on a bicycle. That's another tribute to my wife's grandfather. That's Clarence the catfish. He taught <laughs> <laughs> he taught my wife how to catfish back from the time she was just a little baby. Gotcha. And uh, it just kind of stuck. And your wife is but an artist put as it, well. She's, yeah. she's an artist. You, you put it on a penny farthing, though. I mean, it's, <laughs> it, it's th this is what I mean. Yeah. It's the eye and what comes from yeah. within, putting things together, and you go, yeah, that's our, oh, look at this. This it's, is at Jordan Valley the, Park. I just drove yeah. by this uh, like an hour ago. Yeah. Who is this? Is this your family? That is. Um, a family. It's Avery's nephew, Avery Parrish's nephew, I think that's on it. Oh, now, the little boy, you can see the real kid. Yeah, down there's a little bit yeah, real that's kid. So, nephew. so oh, what God. is it? It's alone in the crowd. If you what you can't see is the person on the left hand side. There's about a three foot or four foot gap between them. Mm -hmm. And that person is does not agree with the crowd. And he's not afraid to stand up for what he believes in, oh, even if he's standing alone. Nice. And when you see the whole sculpture, you will see that he is the tallest person standing upright and he's just Believes in what he says. Doug is heels he's alone in. in the crowd. He's uh -huh. alone in the crowd, okay. and he's comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, hubcaps for Route 66. A uh, tribute to Route 66. That was a fun project because we had to search and search and search to find enough hubcaps <laughs> to put on it. So now you guys go out there and you find, oh, that was a car I had back when yeah, I was exactly. 16 years there's old. There's my hubcap. There's my hubcap. <laughs> the old yeah. Pontiac. Yeah. 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 So there's a whole variety of Detroit right in that sculpture. Oh, that's amazing. I love this right downtown. The groovy peace sign. Groovy. So it was made out of 10 inch Schedule 40 pipe. It's about eight foot tall. It was all rusted, and I like rust. And my wife says, let's paint it, let's put color. And that's where my wife came in, and she 
she done all the hand painting She on did that. that. Uh, she did good. I absolutely love it. All yeah. right. Joe Molesky, where can people find your art? Do you have a website or anything? Um, New Adventure Sculptures on Instagram. Gotcha. Blue Stem Gallery mm -hmm. out of... Uh, Columbia, Columbia, Missouri, and there. that's the only the only gallery that I'm in right now. Okay. Um, my, my push has been towards sculpture walks. Right. Um, so when I see something small, I make something small. I'm thinking big. Of you got to have a big tra a crane and a trailer to haul well, it. Well, keep it and going. And that's what I fell into. You do great work. Thanks. Really appreciate. Thank it. you very much for yeah. sharing with us. Thanks it's for having me. It's been fun. I appreciate we'll it. We'll be right back.